All right, well, folks, how's everybody doing this evening? And uh, welcome to another episode of Rob's West Virginia Bass Fishing. And uh, I went fishing today and didn't catch anything, so uh, I thought I'd try to do a video about how I uh, build these uh, new bladed jigs that I'm coming out with. Um, I call them the Thundercracker. And, uh, of course, if any of you all is out there about my age, 50 or so, that... Uh, grew up watching the old Transformers cartoon, you'll know who Thundercracker is, but, uh, so, uh, basically, it's not that hard to do, it took me a while to figure out how to do it, but, uh, basically, you got your blade, and a little split ring there, and so I'm gonna open it up, this is kind of the hardest part is putting the oh, the split ring and the snap on the blade. Other than that, it's it's pretty simple. So you open up that open up that split ring like so, if you can see, and then uh, get it on that third hole closest to the edge. And then okay, there you got the O ring in place. Then what you want to do is take your snap, unlock the the big end of it, and you're gonna run it up through. That first hole, like so, and then you'll need needle nose pliers to do this step. Then you squeeze it a little bit together, squeeze it snap together, and shove it back down in the hole, like that. And then close it up. All right, now you got your snap in place and your O-ring. So now, um, next step will be to uh, open up the split ring again, because now we're going to put it on the jig. And uh, here's my jig. It's a 3 8 ounce shaker. And you can see it's got a bait keeper or a trailer keeper on it. And a collar. So open up your split ring. Put it over that. Put it through the eye. And now you have your blade attached to the jig. Now all that's left to do is put skirt on. And I'm going to make this one. Uh, this is one of my favorite colors. That's a blue bug skirt. And just slide it up over the hook. And put the collar up over the keeper barb. And then one more time, you want to push it up all the way over top of that collar, so the like that. Now your keeper is there, where you can you can slide the head of your trailer all the way up against the skirt now, and that one's done. And there we have a finished bladed jig, a finished thundercracker. All right, now I'm gonna repeat it, the process on this next one. I'm gonna make a delta crawl colored one now. It's one of my favorite colors too, especially in muddy water.
I really should have brought my smaller pliers in there, but I left it out in my vehicle. Split rings on, and you get your snap, unlock the big part, just like that. I don't think you can see it though. And you're going to want to push it up through, up through the top hole first. Okay, so now that you got your snap pushed through the blade, what you're going to want to do is, just like I did on the other one, squeeze it together slightly with the uh, needle nose pliers and stick it back down through the hole. And close it up. Now you're ready to attach the blade to the jig. Alright, now you have your blade attached to the jig. Now the last thing to do is put the skirt on. And you can see the dark strands in there. You got your darker brown on top and your orange on the bottom. So what you want to do, you want to, uh, you want the dark part to end up at the top of the lure. slide your skirt on you gotta get it over the barb and then over that other collar which isn't very easy to do and we're finished you can see just like on the other one there's your bait keeper right there. It's exposed and you can put your trailer all the way up against the skirt. So now we have a finished Delta Crawl and Blue Bug. And that's all there is to building these. Uh, it's not very hard. I fished with them today for a while, but I didn't get any bites. The water was only 47 degrees. But uh, they did run good. Uh, they started vibrating right away as soon as I engaged the reel. And uh, if once you get above a slow speed, they start kind of going side to side like that. So they, uh, they work good. Um, I think, though, with the next ones, the next batch that I do, uh, when I order some more parts, I'm going to use the oval uh, split rings like they put on crankbaits. For the line tie, I'm going to try oval split rings here between the blade and the jig instead of the round ones and see how that works. But uh, that's pretty much all there is to, to building these. Um, if you all is new to the channel, um, I'd appreciate it if you could give it a like, subscribe, uh, maybe give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. And uh, try to get another video done for you all as soon as I can. And I uh, appreciate everybody watching.